In this video, I'm going to show you how to be able to sync your Notion with your Zotero. So I'm going to be using my journal article organization template, and this is available for purchase if you'd like to. I'll leave the link down below. At the end of this week, I will actually be raising the price on this template due to the multiple updates that it's had, including this update to now be able to work with Notero. So if you want to get it for the previous price, make sure that you go ahead and buy it this week. But you can use the same system with any template that you want to create as well. And if you've already bought this template, you do already have access to this within the back end and you have access to tutorials for how to sync up your current template with Notero as well. So Notero is essentially because Notion has a open API and Zotero has an open API, somebody has created Notero that will easily allow you to sync up your changes from Zotero in your Notion template. And so the kind of introduction page to this is on GitHub. So the first thing we need to do is go and create a Notero internal integration. So we can go to this link right here. It's notion.com slash my integrations. And we want to create a new integration. And so the type is going to be internal. Your workspace is fine here. And then we're just going to put Notero as the name. And you don't need to even upload a logo image. And you can click next. And what it's going to do is give you this internal integration secret. So you're going to be able to copy this now to be able to use later. I'm not going to show mine on the screen, but if you hit show, you're going to be able to copy this information. So I now have mine copied and you can just save this within a notepad or anything else for you to be able to use later. So the next thing we want to do is actually get to where this page can actually be updated with the integration. So now we want to add the integration in. So we can come to these three dots here. We're going to scroll down and click Add Connections. And then we can search for Notero, which is the integration we made. And we can confirm this so that it has access now to this page. So now we've done everything on this side to set it up. If you're not using my template, what you're going to want to do is within your actual database. So I'm going to go to my literature organization, the actual database in here is you want to, if you're on GitHub, you can scroll down and there's certain property names and the property types. So what you want to do, for example, the very first column needs to have the word name there, not like title or anything else. That is your title type and it has to be that very first column there. And then you can add in any of these other fields that you would like, and you just want to make sure that the type matches the type in this column. This will then allow Notero to automatically connect. And I will have this link in the description below as well, along with a Zotero link and a Notion link and a link to my template. So once we've done this, what we want to do now is download the latest version of Notero. So if you're on the GitHub, you can just click the latest version here. And you can just download this XPI code here. So now you can see my Notero XPI is downloaded in. So I can go into Zotero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tools and Add-ons. And then I'm going to click over here. And I'm going to say Install Add-on from File. And I'm just going to double click on that XPI file that I just asked it to install and click Install Now. And you'll see it'll pop up Notero and it'll say sync Zotero items into a Notion database. So now that we're done there, to get it to actually fully work, we now have to restart our Zotero. So I'm just going to exit out of it and come back into it. Okay, so now I've exited out of it and come back in. We can go to tools now and what you're going to see up here is Notero preferences. When you click on this, it's going to open up and it's going to ask for your integration token and your database ID. Your integration token is going to be that secret token that we took from that Notero page. Then we need to get the ID of our actual database. So if you're in my specific template and you're coming from the original, you want to scroll down here and click this literature organization right here to get that URL. And you're going to copy everything directly after Notion.so all the way to that first question mark. And so if you copy that, come back in here and that's going to be your database ID. 
If you are using your own database, just go into your database and you're going to copy that same set there. Then you have the Notion page title. And so you can control the what the title looks like. So if you just want the author and then the date, so like Reister at Al 2020, you can make it look like that. You can have the full citation, in-text citation, a short title. And I'm just going to select the, I'm going to do the item author date so you can see what that looks like. And then you can select which of your collections are going to be included. So you can see right now, because I've already done this integration before, it has this steroids and I mobility selected. And that's the one I, that I'm going to work with for now. I would check on sync when items are modified. So it's not only when you add a new item in, but when the items are modified as well. And I'm going to click OK. So that should have synced it to this database here. So I'm going to go back to my journal organization page. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to actually start putting it in. So all I need to do now is just select all of this and add it to some tag that it doesn't already have. And that's a modification there. So now what we're going to do is when we come back in here, we can see that this is already starting to fill out in here. So you can see that down here, I have the tags up here and then the year down here. So we can kind of see what's happening. Obviously, a lot of these have multiple tags, so they're appearing in multiple places. But if we go into our literature organization to look at the actual database, you can see that we don't really have multiples showing up here. It's just that they're appearing in multiple places. So what this is automatically doing every time you modify or you add in is it's putting in the name, the authors here, and then the title is over here in this field, the full citation, the type of the item type. So if it's a journal article, a book, any of that, the tags, the year that it was published, the URL, if you have it, will also appear here, and the collections is here as well. So whatever collections that same reference is in, it will appear in all of those. So you can see some of these are in multiple collections, and some of these are only in one collection here. So this is now automatically updating for any of the collections that are included. You can automatically have it update and sync to your Notion, which then allows you to be able to use it to reference, use it. I have mine where I can use it to write snippets. I can schedule the date here. So this is another update that just happened to this template is now there's a way for me to schedule what date I want to read these. So I can just kind of drag and drop and say, okay, I want to read this one tomorrow. So now when I come back out here, I have now read this week and it shows up here as well. And then I can always reference these within research papers or review papers. I can have topics here, the sections that they're linked to, introduction, methods, results, discussion, conclusion. And it already has the literature available for me to now link these in, the ones that I want to use within this. So now because I added that one paper in here in the research paper template, it's also showing up here as well. So this is a really easy way to be able to navigate between things and be able to organize them for review articles if you're writing them or research articles to be able to easily organize them in your Notion dashboard. And now you can even have it automatically update with Zotero so that you have everything in here and can analyze it in that way. Again, if you're interested in this specific template, make sure you check it out this week. The price is going up with all of these additional updates. And then if you already have this template, you already have access to this new template and, and tutorials for how to sync with Notero and everything else. I will leave a few other tutorials on the screen now if you're interested in this specific template and how to use it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.